Hello, beautiful boys and girls. We are- wait, girls, no, girl. We are back on Aldamori. I'm sorry. People are obsessed with this map. In the top right, it's a woodland realm. It is violence. And in the bottom left, it is old nosy. He's already violence. Uh, bro, you must have woken up pretty early in the morning if you thought you could build a snipe the great old nosy. You really thought. You really thought. Well, we'll see. Anyway. Um, no build a kill, but the scout does reveal a Dunodine start, which means uh, elite archers and annoying ass cavalry that never die on the way. And uh, yeah, mid map aside, we've got two good players, so hopefully a good game as well. Anyway, level two hunting shrine immediately. Or a hunting shrine, uh, Sylvan Barracks. Sylvan Clearing? There you go, Sylvan Clearing. We'll get. We'll, there, we'll use the proper words unless I get a pipe bomb in my mailbox. And he's not going for a spearman, he's actually going to go for horse archers. And I imagine he's doing that so he can snipe the outriders as they um, run through the back line. But also so that if he does go with archers, he can just trample them. Uh, so yeah, that might be what he's thinking. Or he just likes the unit. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Who the hell knows? Anyway, in typical violence fashion, he's already <laughs> expanded outside of his uh, base. He does that faster than anyone. He loves spending hundreds of resources just expanding all over the map, whether he's going to keep it or not. And it's funny because he always ends up keeping it. It's like you'd think you'd be at a high risk of losing your resource buildings if you just build them wherever. Anyway, they pass each other as they cross the middle. And... These Dunedain, it seems strange to send them in by themselves here as the single unit. Bit of a, a slower opening from Old Nosy, one that he doesn't usually do. At least these horse archers are going to do literally zero damage to the uh, buildings here. Now the archers can obviously poke here, and they're stealthing in the trees, but as I said, the horse archers can just actually insta-kill them. Bruh, that's a good trample. They weren't aggressive, maybe that was why. But yeah. First blood goes to violence. First L goes to, um, Old Nosy. And Warglay has already been crept. The Bounders show up just to see it, and now another free trample. Sylvan Wardens. And the Bounders survive more tramples than the Dunedain. Well, very sturdy folk, I suppose. And they're, 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 they're quick and nimble. They can just dive underneath the horse, because that's totally what you can do. When, you know, a giant horse is galloping towards you. Trust me, it'll work. Anyway, both war glaives have been crept now. And he's expanded more. And he's got more kills. So everything is going Vance's his way. And build a kill? Well, if he doesn't build something soon, they might actually snipe the builder. Ooh, cutting that very close, old nosy. Sorry, that's three war glaives, actually. One in the middle, and then two on... Um, the flanks. He hasn't got this one yet, but I highly doubt he's not going to get it. Tauriel's already on the field, and is this game going to be over and done with in about five minutes? Man, Old Nose is being put to the sword right now. Forced to make an early well to recover his uh, Dunedain. And I'd say forced, because uh, ordinarily you wouldn't make a well that early, and that's money that could have been put into like an orchard or whatever. Anyway, Sylvan pushing up the middle. Leadership from Tariel. Um, and is he, is he going to go with Horn at the gate? Or is he going to save up for a tier 2? I don't know. Anyway, Breelander's level 2 should beat the Sylvan here. But I don't think it matters. The Sylvan... Um, wait, 400 for Kinlight? God damn. Um, but yeah, I don't imagine he's going to care. He got all the warp money on the map. I don't think he's going to care. Look, only 2 points for Nosy. Really is on the back foot. At least he's got some outriders now, so he can, like, chase down these units, but... There's gonna be spearmen wherever he goes, so he's gonna need some archers as well to sort of... Pick them off, and then he can trample through. Well, that's one way of picking them off. Halbrad will easily... Um... Clear through those troops. An archer hero defense under the fort. Old Nosy, how the mighty have fallen. And we'll see if somehow Old Nosy can stage a comeback. He did lose the Orchard. And plenty of those Sylvan do escape. 
Man, Halbred getting that level 3 ability is basically unavoidable. Just give it time. Tauriel trying to flank. Horse Archer shooting over the terrain there. That's pretty cool. And he's popped his tier 1 there to get a few kills. Might as well. And finally, a trample for Old Nosy. Finally something going his way. And is he actually going to go for the builder here? Ordinarily, I would say no, but I think in this case, you actually go for the Builder. you got to slow down Violence somehow, and getting a Builder, forcing him to spend 500? Maybe he's going to get both. Maybe Violence is... Oh, Violence is asleep at the will. Gets the Hunting Shrine and... Gets the Hunting Shrine and the Builder. I didn't think he was going to have his cake and eat it too, but apparently he does. Halbarad, I thought, was going in on Tauriel, but now being focused by Sylvan and Tauriel. And uh, thankfully, Old, no old Nosy uh, notices... Just in time. And there were no there were no archer hero trades there. He does have Master the Dunodine. If he can get some more Dunodine on the field, that could be good. Assuming they don't get, you know, one shot trampled by some sneaky cav, then it will definitely be a good investment. Maybe swap one of them to swords and just tear up those Sylvan. I'm pretty sure Dunodine swords can just tear through that. But yeah, a little bit of... A little bit of revenge for Old Nosy. He's clawing some of it back. And the Archer here is actually leveling up very slowly. Tauriel only level 2. Doesn't even have her summon yet. And uh, did you see how fast those Breedlanders were on her ass? My god, they were very thirsty boys going that fast. And those kin lie. Nice 400 down the drain. The oh, but they have damage reflect, do they? Do they really? Does it even work? Does anyone actually know? Damage reflection is the greatest myth in this game. Anyway, tier 2, surely? Elven King's Feast, nice. When the Battle of Archer Heroes starts again, that will definitely get dropped, and uh, good luck retreating from that because you can just transport it, which is such a cool mechanic. Alright, so Legolas is out. And Halbrad is definitely getting sniped. I think that's probably going to be the goal here. He keeps sending... He keeps focusing Halbrad on Tauriel. So all Violence is doing is retreating Tauriel and forcing Halbrad to, like, run through the army. He's been taking so much... Oh! <gasps> Cavalry of Founder! In the bamboo! Bruh. I mean, Legolas showed up to snipe half the battalion, but that's... Dude. Did Tauriel even get her summon? Is this it? That is the summon. Okay, so she did hit level 3... The captain of the Gilded and it was, I mean, he dropped, he, he, he used many meetings, but like, I don't think he needed to. Because the cavalry was like immediately on her. Dude, if you could summon cavalry with many meetings, then I would probably pick it a lot. Summoning cavalry at tier two. That would be cool. I think maybe they should add that to the spawn pool. Add uh, cavalry. That'd be cool. But yeah, many meetings. Maybe I think that was obviously the original goal. And then he's like, wait, I've got this cav here. Why don't I just run her down? Because she's isolated. And uh, obviously Cavalry is faster than Tauriel. Unless you've got massive delay. And yeah, Tauriel falls. So that was sort of the break that Old Nosy needed. Ever since Halbred came out, his defense has been a lot more resolute. And um, he's been losing a lot less Orchards. So he's been able to pump out these Dunodine. Standing ready. Tauriel will probably be back soon. Farron's on the field, just chilling there. And Legolas has his fear resist. He's got his twin arrow. And I think he needs to... He basically needs to find a way to snipe that Halbarad. He's gonna need to run him down with his own cavalry. But then again, Halbarad can just swap the spear, can't he? He's like Baragon in that regard. Anyway, in changes hands. Old Nosy expanding, but Old Nosy under threat on the left side. I think he's going to go for the forge again. The forge is on very low health and there isn't a replacement, so... Uh, okay, well, he didn't actually buy anything, so it's not such a big deal. And no Turkish archers are going to clutch that. Yeah, there it goes. This is where Woolen Realms struggle, because there isn't enough faith in their mid-game with the Woodman. I mean, unless you're going to go with Radagas or, or uh, uh, Grimbion. There isn't enough faith in the Woodman, so people just don't go... They'll, they'll just skip the mid-game for Woolen Realm. 
and they'll definitely skip Greenwoods. <laughs> so it's just Sylvan and Hero Spam, and that's usually just how people play Woodland Realm. And uh, while that's actually very solid, it works a lot of the time, but like... With the Rivendell Archer defense and these Dunedain? I mean, yeah, these Sylvan don't really have a chance. Maybe tier 3 can pull it back. He's got... Ooh, Hail of Arrows. Wait, where's he dropped it? On the right? If he's got follow-up here, then I'd say that was a good idea, but... He doesn't have any follow- oh, Wait, no, he's got Legolas. Halberad, level 7. You see what I mean by Archer here is just leveling up for fun? Anyway, that seems like a bit of a waste of tier 3, but Violence is a much better player than me. He knows what he was doing. I guess he... Like, it's not like that, that was his resource building. He was... I don't know. It was weird. It's weird that he dropped that there. He's still got his tier 2, but there hasn't really been a big enough... He might drop it here if he decides to fight. If Legolas was there, maybe. I guess Farron is enough to drop it there. Alright, Tariel and Galleon are on the field, so definitely hero spam mentality. But... If many meetings comes back and there's a free cav, the same thing could actually happen to Tariel again. Where she could just get run down. So we'll see. She'll have her summon at the beginning of the fight. And I think I think violence has long overdue a hero snipe on this Halvorad. Halvorad is level seven. I I will cry if you see Banner of Arwen value. Validate these archer heroes. All right, that gives them the bonus armor. He's surrounded by great company, which is hilarious. Legolas getting focused here by Aragorn and um, and Dunedain. Galleon heal doesn't actually affect Legolas there. Elven King's feast does come in finally. And Aragorn actually chopping down your tree. The only tree I want is the White Tree of Gondor, and this is not it. And there it is, tier 2. Oh no, it transported, okay. But it's very close to dying. A couple more shots, teleports again. Quick thinking there by Vance, that was a good play. Also, the first icon, Angry Drunk, yeah. It's literally like he was in a bar fight. Wait, Tauriel's dead again? Oh my god, dude, the damage that Halberad does to heroes is actually seriously crazy. Like, y y y you know I roll my eyes every time I see Baragond. Halbrad is just god tier. The damage he does to heroes. I mean, I know it's Tauriel. Like, it's not like it's not like armor on wheels. It's still just Tauriel. But still, it's a hero. Bruh. So close to Banner of Arwen. Banner of Arwen next to Aragorn. Now, that could be good. If he, if he places the... If he plants the Banner of Arwen and then dies, just uh, for low accuracy's sake, that could be cool. But I'm not sure if the aim of the game is to win how big you are on lore accuracy. Anyway, Legolas getting sniped. Not doing the snipe. Wait, there's Halberad? No, surely. In range of the Hawk Strike. No! <gasps> Saved by the King! King's foil! Bruh, well done, old nosy. I think he was just at the edge of the King's foil radius. I don't think I've ever seen it proc from that far away. Um, but yeah, that was quick thinking. Had the King's foil not gone in there? Then, yeah, Twin Arrows would have definitely got the kill. That was that was a good exchange there. I hope people saw that. That was a good exchange. Anyway, still harassing. No Forge. No Orchard. And uh, third, times, third time's a charm for um, little Tauriel. Although with Hall of Fire, which you can summon in the back line to knock them up. And then many meetings. Dude, I think she's done again. I think she might be Major Dunzo. Level 5, Dunedain on their swords. With the leadership. Okay. Um, Lay of Lathian, okay. Is he gonna go for... People never go with this. I don't think you need it, to be honest. Like, just build a well and save yourself some money. <laughs> it's just the same thing, really. Anyway, he's got Lay of Lathian, so maybe Anduril, or maybe he just wanted Grey Company. Uh, wait, where is it? Yeah, Grey Company are surely going to come out. Legolas going to try and finish off these level 5s. Level 5s just chilling there. There's many meetings, and again... Th uh, exactly like I said? Exactly like I said? And say goodbye to your 3k hero. Well done. Fantastic from Old Nosy. He summoned many meetings first, 
Because if he'd done Hall of Fire, the hitbox around Hall of Fire, it might have actually prevented him from doing many meetings. It might have actually scuffed up a bit. I imagine that's why he he did it in that order. Um. So yeah, that was that was an excellent combo. A Legolas does fall. And these units are all free, so just send them in. Thranduil is on the field, but he's not mounted. I think mounting him would actually be beneficial here. Right, you need to place. start taking down these archers that are getting super buffed from uh, Halvorad. There's Banner of Arwen. But there's no troops for it to buff. There's like these ones here. So they're going to heal constantly and they get 50% damage, right? Oh, and nearby heroes earn XP faster as well. Yeah, I think I think because of that hero XP buff, I think that might be what makes it level 10. I think that might be what makes it level 10. If it was like level 7 or something, dude, in team games, people would just drop that. That'd be crazy. And the High King blesses us with his presence. Very cool. Town's guard reported. Eventually. Yeah, the constant replenishment is what we'll sets it you. apart. Because uh, not a lot of abilities do that. A lot of abilities give damage buff, but not a lot of them do constant replenishment. That's that's pretty cool. It would be a weird if there was an Elven faction where all they do is replenish. Oh, wait. Fucking Lorien, I swear. Anyway, um, Lev uh, Reverence of Yavanna. To bring out the Elrond, I imagine. And violence has finally gone for the Greenwood Barracks. Gonna need a bit of tankiness. He does have one Greenwood on the field already. And now it's time for Old Mosey to attack the enemy base. I was wrong to despair. Greenwood warriors, ready for orders. Well, well I, I, uh, violence needs to clutch it from somewhere. It's possible because he does have weather and he does have tier two back. And let's, but let's see, I mean, three company, there's lights go out, and Old Nosy is just going to retreat rather than fight in that. But yeah, it's been cool to see how Old Nosy's dealt with the archer heroes, because obviously with their speed and their power, they can just sort of, you know, waltz from one side of the map to the other. And just do damage or whatever, but he's been he's been he's basically been punishing this all game. So yeah, he's done well with that. And no battalion survives. So the next fight could be a massive feed because he does have hail of arrows. I don't know how much armor buffing is in this army, but you needed a hell of a lot to survive. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I think that I think that should tell you just how much damage it does. If even the mighty Grey Company could be put on below half health. Yeah, that was massive. Anyway, here comes the counter attack. Hall of Fire is here for the free summon that is going to impede him a little bit. But with Thranduil in there and a bunch of other troops, I think he could actually do this. Okay. Yeah. I think he actually. I mean, they're clumping up a lot. That's not ideal. There's a flame shall be woken. And is this the attack that actually breaks Old Nosey's back because that? He's always got his two heroes and his great company. I don't think Aragorn has uh, Andril. I don't hear it. Look at him go, though. He's just slamming people miles. You'd think he's a ring hero in this form. Jesus Christ, dude. That's insane. <laughs> All those. Bu oh, there's Banner of Arwen as well. Okay, great company aren't going to die. So if one of them falls, it's just... Okay, there's two of them dead. How quickly do they replenish? Dude, that is that is quick replenishment. Did you see that? This great company just sprouted out of the ground like freaking daisies. Bruh. Oh, that would tilt the hell out of me. That's insane, dude. Damage, armor, nearby heroes gain armor. 
I guess it didn't say, but he also gets massive splash damage. All right, here, Legolas is going to have to be the one to do it. There's King's Foil. And I think... Wait, did he buy heal as well? He did buy heal. Damn, he wants to keep this Aragorn alive. Legolas is sacrificing everything. And Legolas does fall, and Aragorn was just tanking those hits. Tauriel falls as well, and I think that might be GG. Bruh. Yeah, the banner of Arwen was massively clutch, I'll be honest. It doesn't say he gets splash damage, but you saw him. He was like... He was literally yeeting them like Sauron at Dagolad. Like, Jesus. I mean, I think Violence had the stronger army there. It was... Like, until the reinforcements game, it was just great company and two heroes, but... Man, that was just insane. And with all those kills, he's now at tier 4. Man, I thought Violence... He probably thought he had it made. I mean, I thought he had it made there. I mean, you, he had lots of heroes as well. He could easily just, like, focus down the Halberd, but no. And there's the tier 4. Oh, and it gets the level 3 Greenwood Barracks. Or was that level 2? I'm mean, going to guess it was level 2. Alright, so no, no King's Fall and no heal. Yeah, look at that! Bruh. You got to specify that on the card that he does that. That's insane. Alright, now surely that's GG. Oh, he's even got Kirdan! Awesome! He can level up his heroes now. Which he did already. And Noldor. And he's got Sleepless Malice. And I imagine he's going to buy uh, Anduril pretty soon. I just want to see if he's gone with the medicine. I just have to know. No, he still didn't even do that. Okay, that should tell you all you need to know about that. Um, that buff was Kirdan. What did he just drop there? We will protect the small folk of Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So what ability did he use? He used... Oh, it was the uh, must, uh, Call the Horde. And there's Lady Arwen. Cool. So he's just gearing up for the final assault now. Only tier 3. I mean, 10 points away, but who's going to save him? I mean, the Horn of Arome could actually be massively clutch. But with, the, with the way Aragorn's been playing this whole freaking game... I feel like, uh, I feel like he could just take on that whole base himself. And I don't know if, um, this highlights a deeper problem with Woodland Realm. But, I mean, I feel like something should be looked at. Just with maybe the pricing of Greenwoods or maybe the stats of them. Or maybe the role of Woodman now. I don't know. It's weird. Level 10 Aragorn. Noldor with heavy armor. And he's not going to be too worried about tier 4, because as I said, it'll be Horn of Arome or the Stag. So, none of which is none of which are uh, army wipers, so if they drop, he can just pull back. There's Banner of Arwen again! Plus 50% damage! Constant replenishment, which means, like, as soon as you cut down one dude, another one's just going to take its place. Which is so scary. And yeah, that's, that's basically GG. Dude, Banner of Arwen is awesome! Because, yeah, it's not it's not healing, it's it's replenishment, which means it replaces the dude. That's so good. That's so much better than healing, actually. <laughs> That's so crazy strong. Unbelievable. Anyway, great company laying siege to the fort now. Lethoe feeling. That's probably one of the best voice lines they have in the game. Elven precision. And Thranduil... You know what? He deletes it and he called GG, but I would have actually waited until I finally killed those great company before I did it, and he was about to do that. Anyway, um, a more subdued cast from me today. Um, they they won't all be oh my god. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. And um, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.